Thank you for joining us for another Bible Time with Brandon, with my special guest today. Megan! Megan! And today, because it is the start of Easter week, we're going to talk about the very beginning of Easter week. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a story that is found in all four Gospels. That means it must be very important that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all wrote it down in their story about Jesus. Isn't that cool? Yeah, but what does, um, what, what are the guys who said again? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. There's four different guys that all wrote the story of Jesus' life. And they all included different parts of his life, different stories, but they all wrote down this one because it's very important. But I don't know what everything means. <laughs> That's okay. Let's just keep going, okay? So we're going to go mostly from the book of Luke chapter 19. Um, Jesus and his disciples, his closest followers, were going to the city of Jerusalem. That was the capital city, the big city, because there's going to be a big party called Passover. And when they were outside of the city, Jesus got two of his followers and he says, hey, go into town, go to this house. There's going to be a donkey and a colt tied up next to it. Untie him and bring them to me. If the owner says anything, just say the Lord needs them. Mm -hmm. So the two, two disciples went and they got this donkey and this colt. And this always seemed very strange to me that they just went and got this donkey and this colt. Like, what do you think the guy felt that, like, whose donkey it was? How do you think he felt? I don't know. He probably felt like, why are they taking my donkey? But they said, it's okay. The Lord needs it. And the guy said, okay, that's fine. You can borrow him. So Jesus gets on a donkey and they start riding into town. And everybody from town comes out to see Jesus. And the road was kind of muddy. And so what they did is they started to take off some of their, their clothes, like their, their coats and their jackets. They took those off. And a lot of people went and got big palm branches and they put them on the road. So that way Jesus and his donkey didn't have to walk on the mud. In the mud. Isn't that nice of them? Mm -hmm. Do you think they did that for everyone, Mason? No. Who would they do that for? Who would they put branches and their jackets down on the ground for Jesus. they did it for jesus that's right they did this for jesus. royalty they would do this for royalty if there was kings and queens coming into town there's someone very very important they would all come out and put their coats down and their branches down so that the king and queen wouldn't get dirty well this made some people mad because they were like why are they treating jesus like a king we know that Jesus is our king. Yes. But some people didn't like, they didn't like this. And so the Pharisees, they went and they told the people to stop. And they told Jesus, you need to tell them to stop. What do you think Jesus did? He said, no. <laughs> That's right. Jesus, this is, this is crazy. This is a crazy part, Mason. You ready for this? Yeah. Jesus said, if they kept quiet, the stones on the road would start to cheer. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Can you imagine a bunch of rocks going, Yay, Jesus! Woo, Jesus! Is that kind of funny? That's kind of funny, right? <laughs> well, this is a very important way that we start off Easter week, we start off Holy Week, remembering that Jesus came into Jerusalem as a king. Everyone was cheering for him. Give me your best cheer, Mason. Go, Jesus. Go, Jesus. He came in like a king riding on a donkey, which isn't like what a king would normally ride on. But he came in triumphantly. And then we're going to see later this week what happens as Jesus dies on the cross. And then another triumph. He brings himself back to life. To, then he has power to forgive our sins so we can all follow Jesus. Isn't that cool, Mason? Yeah. What was your favorite part of the story? Um, when the rocks were doing cheers. <laughs> when the rocks were doing cheers. Isn't that funny? Go, Jesus. Go, Jesus. What do you think a rock sounds like? It's just quiet. <laughs> I think you're right. All right, well, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We'll see you next time.